Hello everybody and welcome to 30 minutes of Against the Storm demo. Steam is currently having its lovely demo-a-thon, which is called the Next Fest. Thank god I had Steam open because I forgot the name. And this... <laughs> this is a game I actually had people sending to me. Because they were like, you love this shit. It's a roguelike city builder. And I can't imagine anything more perfect. I mean, a card game, if <laughs> if there's cards in it too, I'm all in, baby. But, you know, still, that's two of my favorites. So we're going to check it out, obviously. That's why we're here. That's why you're here. That's why I'm here. Ooh, it's Black even got Star, voice acting already? A vile cycle of destruction ravaging everything in its path. The only safe haven is the smoldering city where the mysterious Scorched Queen reigns. You are one of her viceroys, a pioneer sent into the wilds, tasked with establishing new settlements and acquiring valuable resources for the crown. Your goal is to help rebuild the smoldering city and secure the future of the Queen's subjects. Great, so they have sent us out to die to gather resources for the main civilization. Is Waston the mouse to move the camera? Ooh, it's pretty too. Neglecting your village will increase the queen's impatience and bring her wrath upon you. Okay, great. Uh, fulfilling your duties will increase the town's reputation, unlock new buildings, and eventually bring you to victory. Now pick a new blueprint. Click on the crown icon below. Oh, <laughs> Our starting point for the woodcut is going into the wild to cut down trees. Each expedition starts with only a few essential blueprints. More will be given to you as you gain reputation points. Now pick the woodcutter's camp. Okay, press space to resume. Build a woodcutter's camp and explore the forest. You have to keep the fire going at all times. Okay. How build? Ah. Food, housing, industry, city, decorations. I would like to build a woodcutter's camp. Ah, it's in the camps menu. That makes sense. Now, where do we want to build it? Because I feel like there may be dangerous zones on the map. Specifically, the areas with the fog. But I guess, you know what? Uh, fortune favors and kills the bold. So let's just put that bad boy there. And I'm assuming we're going to want paths. Or maybe we're not. I don't know. Uh, woodcutter's camp. Build two woodcutter's camp, get ten wood to get a group of beavers and reinforced axes. Interesting. Okay. So there's also like little quests. So I guess I want one on either side. So what are you guys? Herald Stormgrasp, the builder. And you guys are... I don't know. Oh, it's a small half. Oh. Let's walk against, work against plus five to resolve. Interesting. Okay. So. We need a worker. Let's take one of you in that one and one of you in that one. I'm assuming the beavers are good at cutting wood. Like, that's their shtick. Like, I don't know what this does. Proficiency, okay. Uh, this one here. If we, like, stack up three of a kind, do they just do more, or...? Okay, cool. So that orders are done. So if we deliver this, we gain one reputation and keep the lady happy. We want to keep the lady happy, I'm guessing. Okay, five... Oh, so those are beavers. Okay, they don't look like fucking beavers. Okay. So you guys are out. This is a job for the beavers. Beavers or woodcutters. So I'm assuming these are glades. And then I can do like this and this. Oh, wait, no, 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 cancel, cancel, cancel. Didn't notice the big death symbol there? Probably don't want that one yet. Call it a hunch. 
Oh wait, we got a new reward. A shelter. Can accommodate any villager won't satisfy the need for spe species specific housing. Okay. We can build a few of these. Three shelters. One, two, three. Okay, winning and losing. And against the storm, you build not one, but many settlements. To successfully establish a town and therefore win a run, you need to collect enough reputation points to fill the entire reputation bar. It's important to do this before the queen's impatience red reaches its maximum. If the queen loses her patience, you fail. You also lose when your villagers leave or die. Uh, through, although you're almost entirely surrounded by thick forests, there are smaller and bigger glades around your starting location. To establish a successful settlement, you need to cut your way through to them. Glades can contain resources, treasures, fertile soil, ruined buildings, and more. Use a tree marking tool uh, to point woodcutters in specific areas of the forest they should prioritize. The best rewards come from the dangerous or forbidden glades marked with a skull icon these always have at least one dangerous glade event in them which will require you to deliver certain goods or complete a challenge okay so there's not actual combat interesting okay so my beavers are all doing their thing and uh, so the rain humans are adept at farming and enjoy brewing uh they're very good with animals and meat production okay so Lizard would like to work near the fire, I'm guessing. Because why wouldn't he? It's hot. Uh, can I assign people to the houses? No, not really. Okay, that's full, that's full. I feel like we're probably gonna need more houses. Is there a glade down this way? There is. This is a chunky boy to... So I guess let's prioritize that. So how many guys have we got? Too soon for dangerous glades. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Definitely don't want any of those ones. These ones are fine. Is it just a one dangerous clade? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. Our queen is getting just a smidge impatient, which is not good for me. Let's build a little path. I feel like something like this is probably a good idea. Seems we're building down this way. Yeah, just make them a little bit quicker. And seeing as half of them aren't goddamn doing anything anyway. Oh god, she do be getting impatient though. We can build some decorations. To advance hubs, interesting. Barrels? Sure, let's build some barrels. Why not? And hold on, is this Lizard House? No, which one's Lizard House? We don't have Lizard House yet. Ooh, okay. Uh, root deposit, small, small abandoned cache, and a glade event. Goods. Send to the Citadel. More reputation and amber. Um, send him to the Citadel, baby. Sign a worker. Lizard men. Get in there. Actually, no, send in the humans. Go get him. So we need to build another house. Because our poor lizards have just nowhere to fucking live. And then we can build them their weird little lizard decorations. Also, I feel like we should probably connect them up to the city. Blade events. Uh, glade events are objects found in the forest, like abandoned caches, survivor camps, ruins, wild beasts, etc. Some of them are positive, offering goods or new villages for small resource investments. Others are dangerous, forcing you to act quickly to avoid negative consequences. Once you select a glade event, the event panel will show up there. You'll find different sections, effects, worker slots, requirements, and rewards. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Some good, some bad. They do things for you. Now... I would like a lizard post next to my lizard house. We don't have the resources for it. Never mind. We 
a nice little bench. You know, give them somewhere to sit. Probably a nice thing to do, you know? Yeah, give them a nice little seating area. Why not? And it'll keep the other guys busy and happy. Maybe. Um, yeah, you guys are doing your thing. You guys are gonna drop it off in my city. Woo! Oh. Um. Decorations, population. Plus to the global resolve, the ancient house resistance to corruption is increased. Okay, I don't know what that means. Specialization bonus. Okay, I don't know how to level you up more, but I think I did it by building the barrels, maybe? Let's speed this up. Okay, forest isn't very hostile at the moment, but apparently it will be. Play deposits. I don't think I've got a stonecutter's camp. No, I've only got a woodcutter's camp. Okay. You got another objective for me? No, you still just got the one, huh? Okay, let's unmark these ones and prioritize, like, the quick path through. So this is Lizard House. Yeah, baby, Lizard House. That's what I'm talking about. So how do I level you up? Okay, well, I've got that. But it doesn't tell me how to level it up again. Beautiful. Order's ready to complete. We've got a new objective here. Eight wood to rebuild for a herbalist camp. Or we can salvage it for a bunch of stuff. I feel like a herbalist camp is the way to go. Like, we got plenty of wood. And I feel like that's probably a good thing to get. Okay. Boom. Uh, objective, forages camp, uh, vegetables, and it gives me giant vegetable perk and reputation. So I'm assuming, yeah, forages camp. Great. So, there are some veggies over there, there are some veggies over here. Let's start with over here for now, and then we'll build our road up here. We've also got this thing, though. Now stop building the road, please. Okay, what do we got? Good, simple tools. So we can either, again, try to keep the queen happy. Oh, this will get us another level, actually. Um, producing carpenter. Oh wait, no, we don't have those. Producing carpenter smithy. Okay, so we can't even do that one anyway. Never mind. So it only wants one forager's camp. So that's all right. So you guys are doing your thing. Woodcutters are kind of just cutting wood. You can prioritize getting through to that. Um... Okay, so you can try to get that way. I, I can't really do that one. Wait, newcomers? Where? Oh, that's that. Ah! So I can take some eggs and dino and human. Or I can take... Ooh. Give me dino man, because we've only got a couple of dino men at the moment. And I am going to need yet another house. Okay, so this is... Herbalist. Specialization bonus farming. Who's good at farming? Woodworkers, engineering, production, yeah. Okay, humans enjoy farming. Guess what, my human friends? Yeah. You are now farmers. I know it's idle, but I can't do anything with it. 
Okay, yeah, look, just put one human on sending that to the Citadel, but they're not going to be able to do it, so it doesn't really matter. No, 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 how do I prioritize? Because I want them to focus on these. Yeah, don't worry about insects right now. Someone force that delivery so they get to the thing. Okay, again. So this is an alchemy bonus. I don't think we've got anyone for alchemy. So we'll chuck a human or two on this one as well. Because, I mean, I feel like it's kind of vegetables. Uh, forest explosion of the central mic. Too many trees can slow you down. Okay. Well, the other thing is I kind of want to destroy these and, like, rebuild it. Oh, I can do that. Okay, excellent. So can I bring you like over here? Rotate you around. Like there for me. Build him another path. You know, I'm not a monster. And same for this one here. I think I want to move you to over here. Ooh, 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 rotate. And build the path. Okay, so we remove the marked woods, and then we rebuild. We want them nice and focused, so we want to just cut through there. We want to just cut through there. Okay. That's what I'm after. Oh, and these guys obviously are going to want a path as well. Right up to here, please. Excellent. Are you going to tell me what you need? No. I really wish you would. I mean, I can just build more decorations, I guess. I mean, I can build like a... You want some bush? Nope, not allowed to make the bushes. Can't make a fire shrine. Make a couple more barrels. You want a barrel out in front of your house? Just building a bunch of nonsense for the point of building a bunch of nonsense, I guess. I mean, we've got plenty of wood. There we go. Stone cutters camp. Stone, clay, sea marrow. Excellent. Let's get started on this, because I'm assuming we're going to need one anyway. Okay. Um, camps. Stone cutters. So resources are there. Uh, nothing up here, nothing over here, so that means we're just going to go straight to here. We can always move it later. Okay, those are going. This will eventually be going. They're just building some paths. I do think the paths are important. Okay, we do have a couple of homeless people still. Definitely something we should fix. I'd imagine them being homeless does not make them happy. Boom, boom, boom. Thank you. We don't have any more people on the way. We have a cornerstone. Uh, exploration. The uh, Royal Academy wants a detailed map of the region and will supply anyone willing to help gain 20 reed and 20 clay for every discovered glade. Yeah, I guess I'll take that one. Queen's relatively happy right now. I'd like to keep things that way. Um. Oh, it's done. Beautiful. So you guys can now harvest the insects as well. I don't care. Whatever's easier. Okay, now I need clay and stone cutters camp. Easy as. Already working on it. So. Stone clay. It doesn't say what this is, though. So I guess I don't really care. 
He's gonna take one human and one lizard. Spread the love. I'm a little bit worried about this looming darkness thing. I'm not gonna bullshit. Also, I think I'm gonna make an executive choice to do like one of these. And like one of these. Again, just to make things a little bit quicker. For the boys. And one of those. New blueprint. Uh, harvester's camp. Plant fibers and reed, okay. So you can grab that stuff there and not much else. Hmm. Haven't left myself a huge amount of space for this one, but we can just kind of slot you in there for now. Okay, this one's done. Beautiful. Uh, Harvester's Camp, working on it. Logistics. Every building has its internal storage where I produce and gathered goods are temporarily stored. When the internal storage reaches its limit, the goods are transported to the main storage by a worker. While transporting it, it's important to keep in mind that villagers have a limited carry capacity. So I might need to walk multiple times between the workplace and the main storage. Worker takes breaks and returns to a nearby half to eat and rest. Uh, one item of food. Okay, that's fine. I kind of realized that something like that was happening. So, and we got a new thing. Crude workstation, planks and bricks and stuff. So this definitely seems like something we want like right here. But to do that, I'm gonna need to demolish a resource. Let's demolish that. Oh, new thing. What do we got? Herbalist camp, we kind of already got one. Hmm. I guess. Nah, man, salvage it. Fuck it. Give me, like, one human. Go get it. Because we already got it. We don't need two of them. Okay, so now the problem is we got to get, like, up over here. We also can't destroy trees, apparently. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to move you again. Like, here... And I want you to just cut down these trees here. These ones here I don't care about anymore. This area mostly dead to me. Now, these guys are doing well. Happy with these guys. Everyone else, yeah, well, you know. Okay, you're done. Um, pretty sure what humans will do. How many? We got two lizard men builders. That's fine. We got no homeless people. We could really use some more guys, though, Queen, if you don't terribly mind. I could really use a couple more guys. I really need you to prioritize this one right here, bud. Cancel that one there. Yeah, there we go. really gonna need this crude workstation real quick. Eh. At least eight villages have to be housed. Well, there's a lot more than eight of them housed. Okay, I guess that's just as high as it goes. We're definitely gonna need more building materials. Okay, so you... Um, does this count as engineering? I mean, it probably would, right? I'm gonna take one of you off there and put you on. Yeah, sure, you can help out. Okay, um. Limits are locked for now. Yeah, just do what you gotta do. Okay, Harvester's Camp is done. New rep. Ooh. So these would make certain people happy. Who do we have the most of? We mostly have humans. But humans are lame, man. But I guess it's what we got, so it's what we should build. Ooh, that requires a lot of resources, though. 
Okay, new quest. Yeah, that's about what I thought it would be. Okay, well, this one is not doing anything anymore. What we really need is you'd get, like, up over there. Um... Oh, you can get one removed as well. If I can just, like, squeeze you in somewhere. Damn, I might need to do it from up here. I kind of boxed myself out from getting this top section. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a cheeky little... really narrow way up there. Okay, we do have two builders still, which is important. Your harvest and your broccoli and your insects. Uh, isn't it in raw, but can be processed. Yeah, okay. Okay, new dudes. Well, I gotta take the humans, unfortunately, because I took the damn human houses. Yeah, I don't really think any of them are specifically good at what they're doing. That's fire bonus. Yes? I don't know, man. Also, I don't think we've made a single fucking thing yet. Jesus. Okay, let's speed him up a bit. We've almost got our full blue bar as well, and we didn't even go to cool zone. Which is a little upsetting, to be honest. But I mean, we're getting there, slowly. Yeah, baby, they're gonna break through the glade! It's just a bunch of clay deposits. I don't give a shit. Okay. Um... Man, I guess I'll move this up to, like, here to help out. Like, it's a start, right? Also, we are absolutely on fire, I just want to say. We are doing so well. Like, we're just smashing through this. We may actually just win. Order's ready to complete. Bada bing, bada boom. Look at that! Boom! Easiest goddamn game of my life. Oh, it's not over, though. Is that new people? Villagers with low resolve will start leaving, increasing the queen's impatience. Keeping resolve exceptionally high will grant passive reputation over time. Satisfying your villagers' needs with complex food, homes, and services will increase their resolve. Aha! Okay. Each species has a different mix of needs. It's hard to please everyone all of the time. Farmers can plant only on farm fields, and those can only be built on fertile soil. Crops are planted in the first season, drizzle and harvested during the second. Clearance. Build farm, harvest grain, and serve some ale in a tavern. So I'm assuming... Yeah. Okay. If I build a little farm here... I can then build a little farm fields... And then I can probably build... Okay, so what are your needs? Pie, biscuits, jerky, clothing, leisure, religion, sheltered. Okay, well, they seem mostly easy. Uh, I'm not going to favor any species just to fucking level with you, bud. Oh, okay, now things are getting different. 
Okay, but do I have... I don't have any damn houses yet. Okay, great. Love that. Good way to keep everyone happy. Okay, well, let's start with some woodcutters as well. Like right in here. And then some pathing. I like to surround our initial storage thingy. Obviously, that's pretty good there. And we're going to... Okay, well, it won't let us prioritize it till we've actually built. But that's fine. There we go, vegetables and grain. So, uh, specialization bonus, humans. There we go. So we get two new humans, small farm. Okay, cool, deliver. Two woodcutters camps, two shelters. Yep. Well, we've already got one of those. Ah, uh, you're digging through there. Where's our boss guy? Our boss guy's over there. Can we sneak a little woodcutter in... ...over here? Yeah, they're probably not gonna be super happy with how they gotta get in there, but... Shelters. Great, thank you. Okay, so Beaver's good at this. Okay, housing. Just build me two shelter like here for now. Okay, prioritize that. This one here, I want to prioritize that. Damn it, we're at 30 minutes off, but... Okay, you know what? We're just going to absolutely crank the speed and just book it. What do we got? I don't know what a barrel does. You know what? Uh, more food sounds like a good buff when you're out in the middle of bumfuck. No, wait, is there two bosses? Ooh, there's two bosses in this one. Okay. Like it, love it. Give me a human and a lizard in here because we don't have any beavers. We're actually about to get more beavers. Trapper's camp. Okay. So you're out. I'm assuming this is going to give me the trapper's camp. Trapper's camp. So that goes for these little guys over here. Okay. I feel like putting you like here should be okay because we don't want to block off our zones too much. So lizards are trappers. Boom, boom. Go get them, boys. Fuck them up. Ah, there's more of them over here too, so we can always move it later. Speaking of moving it, let's get you over to here. And then we want to dig through these ones here and these ones here. And build a nice little pathway from here all the way into the town. Prioritization, baby. You gotta keep shit moving. You gotta keep it moving quick. Okay, we're not there yet. We're almost there. Okay, this, this thing wants one more house. Um, houses. Yeah. Build me the house. What is ready to complete? Um, ooh. I do like the beavers, man. And we're one beaver short, aren't we? Yeah, so you're out, you're in. Ah, what did we get? Just a bunch of garbage. Okay, so we need smokehouse. Aha, okay. So this will let us turn our food into other food. Like, probably better food, if I had to guess. So I wonder if these run out. Uh, reputation points in three different ways by completing orders, keeping villagers happy, or exploring your surroundings. Um, for each of them, camera. Okay. Well, as long as everyone's mostly happy, you know, everyone seems to like jerky. Well, at least the humans and the lizards do. So we're gonna make some damn jerky. So lizards are good at jerky. 
Oh, we're out of lizards. What's our other lizard doing? Ah, he's our hearth keeper, right. You know, we can have one human on this. Because I really want a bit of lizard expertise in the smokehouse. We want it to be on jerky. Change ingredient in recipe. Ah, so we can change it to meat. Meat. Wood. And we want... Oh, wait, that makes... I'm just going to, yeah, do that. Well, I guess we'll produce goods until the specific amount is reached. Damn it. Okay, so we want 20 of them. So now we could actually use some more lizards. Gotta be careful we don't go up there. How are you doing? So we just need four little thingamajigs. And just take like a couple of little barrels. Sure can. Water ready to complete. Builder's pack. Ooh, that's great. Um, nets, more meat production. Barrels, I don't know what barrels are for, but we got them. A brewery, so now we gotta make ale. Okay, we got a new zone, which is... I uh, need to eat in order to survive, yeah, that's fine. So we got a farm, and these like are the insects we can gather from. Shit, man, we're running out of room in here. Well, uh, not the smokehouse. It was one of the gathering ones. Harvesters? No. Scavenger? I mean, well, there, yeah, but it's still not it. Ah, trappers. Yeah, that's the one. So if I put the trappers camp here, I'll actually get both of them? Yeah, hold on. So this one here is getting moved. Sorry, lads, but there's a much better spot for you right here because it gets more resources. The only problem is it is further from the base. Okay, beautiful. This is leveled up now. Um, you can sacrifice additional goods in the hearth to temporarily gain positive effects. Interesting. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I really need to build that thing though. The old brewery. Thank you. So I think once this is open... Ooh, actually, I don't know, man. Okay, you need to move up a bit. Hey, right, what's wrong with the field? Storm. Um... Should be okay. Now, these guys weren't super happy during that. Because I don't they don't like the rain. Camp. Um yeah, we're gonna take new people. Especially seeing as one of them is a lovely lizard boy. Okay, this one's got worm tongue nests and stuff. Okay, you. I need you guys to move back into the city, please because I'm going to need you to start digging out some more space. Just something like this. Pick a cornerstone. Um, which group do you want to stay? Give me one human, one lizard. Give me... I feel like grain bag seems pretty good. And now we just need to brew some ale, baby. What does this mean? 
Oh, production priority. That's fine. Uh, let him make it all now. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, now this. Brewery. Humans like brewing. So, ale is our priority here, though. We don't have pottery. We do have barrels. So we'll use barrels for now. Oh, we can select what we're okay with them using. Okay. Um, yeah, that's fine. Pack of crops. Interesting. What's wrong with you? Like, we have these. Are we low on wood? No, we got plenty of wood. Let him do both. Um, yeah, this is fine. Okay, beautiful. We're done. Uh, give us a bunch of crap. Now we can make a tavern. This will give us more beavers, some tools. Okay. So. Oh, and of course it'll unlock the tavern. Can I slide him in there? Yeah, I can. So what are we missing? So we need a workbench. Squeeze that bitch right in there. And we've also got quite a lot of homeless people, which is something we should probably have fixed a while ago. But the good thing is we are slowly clearing out more space. And I know this 30 minutes of has already turned into a 45 minutes of. But look, we're getting there, man. We're getting there. Okay. Um. Shit, man. We don't have a lot of people spare. Yeah, I don't think we need two people at the smokehouse. I don't think we need two people at the brew place. Them there is important. Them there is important. Oh shit, I don't have anyone welcoming the fucking new people! <laughs> I was thinking, shouldn't that be done by now? Yeah, it should, but I'm an idiot. Okay. Just you get in there. I want a limit of 10 of each. What do you got? Um, ooh, nice mixed bag? Yeah, give me the nice mixed bag. Beautiful. Okay, lizard man. We're gonna have another one of you smoking meat. We're gonna have another human brewing ale. And we can get another human up here helping with this for now. And you can get out of here and you can be replaced with one of you. Beautiful. You there. Uh, dig through to here. What's wrong with this? You're not producing enough grain. That's fine. Because down here, I was actually going to build another farm anyway. Like this. And your recipe is going to be just for grain. And we go like this. I mean, I could have built it up here, but there's not a lot of farmland here. Maybe. I can always move it, you know? That's not a huge issue. Speed him up. Yeah, the real problem right now is the fact that we're waiting for some fabric. Poor little snail. Oh, look at our little thriving village. We still have a lot of homeless people. So what do we do? We just come back here, we go a little bit of uh, shelter. We go boom, boom. We got a nice little path in front of it for them. That's fine, bud. We're fixing that. We're fixing that. Baby steps. Boom. Uh, who likes farming? Humans like farming. That's right. Get in there, boys. 
We need someone working at a tavern? Who likes working at the tavern? Um... Shit, I don't know. Give me a human and a dwarf. And a lizard? There we go, cool. Got one of each. Okay, th that's being worked on. I don't know what this does. Oh, this is just all of our production limits and stuff. Okay, I getcha. We got plenty of ale. What's the issue with this guy? Right, we're not gathering any clay at the moment, which could be problematic in the future. We could just get a quick little gathering camp for that. There's a bit there. There's only a bit there, okay. New cornerstone, let's go baby. Gain 30 mid every time a villager lives or dies. I think I'll take better nets. Because I'm trying to not let people leave or die. Newcomers, baby. That's what I'm here for. Um. We don't have a lot of stone. But do we need that many more humans? I think I'd rather take this one. Okay, we're almost at the full leisure. Come on, baby. Here we go. Rewards. What do you give me? Two more dwarves. Oh my god. <laughs> Easiest mission of my fucking life. Bada bing, bada boom. I didn't even need to look at what my other ones were. We can get meat specializations. We can get flame amulets. Oh my god. Okay, this, <laughs> this game kind of a banger big fan i could play more of this the world is a vast ever-changing place and its heart lies a smoldering oh my god there's a whole other fucking strategy layer to this your goal is vice to help rebuild it and secure the future of the queen's subjects buy upgrades oh my god there's a oh there's an upgrade tree layer <laughs> you beautiful son of a bitch. <laughs> um, what does this unlock? Gain a permanent negative 2%. Place where records about cool. Unlock steeds. Yeah, why not? Fuck it. You get any new embark bones to choose from. We're starting a settlement. You can get stone or clay. Plus two uh, duration to burning. Duration for all types of fuel. That's pretty good shit. Minus two speed, plus 10% more citadel resources. Yeah, baby, hand them all over. Deeds? What is this to? Oh, the fucking Chiefs? Let's go, baby. Oh my god, and there's a daily mission? It's not out yet, but it's coming. <laughs> okay, I love it. This game, 10 out of 10. This world is governed by the eternal blight storm cycle. It's almost upon us, so no caravans are allowed to embark. Click on the button on the lower right corner. Uh, Blood storms coming, sit settlements are abandoned and people are returning to the citadel. And I unlock the obsidian archive and the obsidian archive. And gain 150 EXP. I'm assuming this is about to just murder everyone, right? Maybe. Oh my god. It sure fucking did. You're almost ready to venture on your own. Choose any map tile inside your embark range. Marshlands unavailable. Royal Woodlands is available. Okay, there's a lot of biomes not available. And there's like lots of little quite... Oh my god, look at how much map there is. And all of them have like weird little markers on it. I'm assuming stuff around this makes shit better. What does the modifiers give? Severity mild. Scary. Very uh, trees give more wood. That's a good bonus. So hold on. How do I... Interesting. Okay, so there's a whole other clan. By the looks of it. Oh wait, no. I get to pick who I want. Um, I definitely take this one because woodcutting is so important early game. Humans are good for growing. 
I guess, but you know. Oh, and that gets a group of two villages as well. Anyway, that is fucking this game. And it is, oh my God, absolutely incredible. Like this is so good. Like, is this, like, does this one have a release date ready and set to go? What's it called again? Against the Storm? Let's have a look. Against the Storm? Yeah, it's available fucking this month sometime. This game is on my wish list. Absolutely incredible. So fun, so good. And it takes a lot of the bullshit out of the city building. Like, you know, obviously there's still some bullshit. You gotta keep the people happy and get stuff going. But it doesn't need to ridiculously and endlessly spiral because it's like in neat little segments. It's more about efficiency and the time you have rather than like full perfect production chains in the long run. And I love that. Okay. Uh, for now though, thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.